Hello again. In addition to the regular interviews, I'm going to be recording a series of mini documentaries about the badgers and other wildlife of a North Yorkshire woodland. 30 years ago, in my youth, there was a badger set near my house. The locality was called the White Quarries. Having found the set, in summer I used to go regularly, making sure I was in position about an hour before dusk. All would be quiet. This was 20 years before mobile phones. So during these sessions, I would hear a vigorous scratching, often for several minutes. Then, eventually, slowly, the badgers would emerge. Sometimes they would stay playing around the set. Sometimes they would go straight off and forage. I would stay about an hour until well after dark, then go home. One evening I heard voices. Two men came to check the set. I let them talk before announcing my presence. One of the men was from the Cluid Badger Group and he invited me along to a meeting. I went, joined and was given grid references to lots of badger sets in my area. Eventually life took over and I moved away, travelling, getting an education experience and then resettled in North Yorkshire after years abroad. For the past three months I have had access to badgers. So, welcome to the Badger Diaries. Roe deer are really plentiful in the woods all around this area. You occasionally see them during the day, but they're mainly active at night. As regards the badgers, one of the first things they'll do after emerging is begin to forage, off and on, all night long, like this one in the leaf litter. Behind it you can see a huge mound where the set is. This one sniffs and fans through the leaf litter, looking for anything edible. Mostly badgers eat earthworms, but that depends on the region of Britain where they are. One of the things that trail cameras have enabled biologists to do is get up close and personal with nocturnal wildlife so much so that individuals can be identified. It's one of the things I'm going to be trying to do. This one's alert. It can hear a skirmish going on in the background. So it stopped foraging to smell and listen intently. This one seems to be limping. Maybe it's had a close encounter with a, a glancing blow from a vehicle. It's also blind in its left eye. You can see its left eye is shriveled and not shining like the other one is. This one's obviously been foraging and sticking its snout into holes in the ground. The earth around a set is bare of vegetation. It forms huge spoil heaps and these keep growing year on year with badger digging activity. The family group at the set that I watch contains four animals and at the far side of the woodland there is another set. I'm still trying to identify how many animals there are in each family group and individuals within that family group. 
which I'll hopefully recognize as time goes on by looking at their facial markings which looked at in detail will be unique these two are having a bit of a face off they were there side on to each other showing their size thankfully it didn't result in a fight it was called agonistic behavior this one's coming back from a foraging trip you can see how their faces get dark and soil covered because they really dip their snouts deep into the earth badgers are naturally shy and elusive and strictly nocturnal except at the height of summer when they will come out just before dusk this one's foraging within the vicinity of the set I love the way they dip their snouts into the earth and here we have a copulation so this was filmed at the very end of February quite unusual to see a mating even on camera I feel see how the female raises her tail to show to the male that she's receptive this mating was just off camera individual matings can last a few seconds or much longer this is the end of a mating and the boar the male comes off decouples from the female after mating the female is exhausted and while this rat looks on the female has curled up and gone to sleep on the bare earth outside the set quite unusual these two are foraging and there you can see the individual is blind again here it is having a good sniff through the vegetation and leaf mold it's reading a book about somebody who described having sampled badger flesh and they described the taste of a badger like fungus and leaf mold this badger has come back from a foraging trip it knows the camera's there but it's not quite sure whether it's dangerous or not this badger is a yearling it looks quite a bit smaller than all of the other badgers but look how it's able to just move through bramble pretty effortlessly badgers are basically solid muscle they have this grizzled appearance and here we have a fight lasts only a few seconds but looks really savage this pair of badgers aware of the camera but not too bothered by it and we're here we have a fox skirting the edge of the woodland looking for prey I'm quite surprised really because I don't see many foxes in this area of North Yorkshire at all this badger is foraging unaware of the camera gradually coming closer and closer you can see it's, it's found food and it's chewing and that's exactly the sort of profile that you want to see when you want to identify individuals which I haven't been able to do yet but as time goes on no doubt I will that badger just touched the ground with the base of its tail it's got glands at the base of its tail these are called musk glands and badgers mark both their territories and their mates with musk you'll see in a future session a male badger mating repeatedly with a female and rubbing his musk gland all over her as well this is play behavior the boar is asserting his dominance then he comes to the sow the female and smells the base of her tail to see if she's sexually receptive he just mounts her off camera for a, a fraction of a second this is a sow 
the female badger emerging from a set she knows there's a camera there but she's not quite sure whether it's a threat or not but that again is a, a wonderful portrait that can be used for identifying individuals these badgers are foraging outside the set on top of the spoil heap these are cold nights at the end of may of the end of february and this rabbit is out foraging for food and poised to run away. This badger is back at the set and again just powering through bramble bushes as it forages. These bramble bushes are strong enough to to catch my Wellington boot as I walk through the, the woodland every day but not a badger. Badger just plows through them as if they're not there. This one's foraging it's found something and is having a quick chew and a swallow. Looks to me like it's a sow. A young female. A yearling. And here we have another one just coming into the picture. Again, a sow, judging by the reduced size of the musculature in the lower jaw. It looks like a supermodel to me looking over its shoulder and striking a pose. This is mating behaviour. This is courtship behaviour. These two badgers are nuzzling each other just prior to the male mounting the female. No, she's not quite ready and he moves on. It is possible, of course, with trail cameras to see which badgers are pregnant you can't be absolutely sure but the night shift gives way to the day shift there goes a road here thanks for watching and watch next week